Making a video like this is actually so simple. I'm about to show you step-by-step step how to film and edit this type of video because it's really fun to do. So I'm editing this in this app called InShot. You can use CapCut or whatever you'd like, but I've been using InShot for years, so that's just what I do. And import your video clip. Mine was over 13 minutes long. It was one single clip, and I already started editing everything down. But then I was like, wait, I wanna show people how to do this. So we're gonna use this little mannequin dancing away off of the screen as an example. So I just pinched in to zoom in on the timeline. And as you can see, there's like a lot of little bitty clips that I have made from my one 13 minute video. It's only a 0.2 second long clip. And so we're basically doing this like quote unquote stop motion technique type thing where it looks like multiple photos that are put together. But in reality, this is just way faster and easier to me to do a video clip and trim it down. So let's use this mannequin as an example. I'm going to use this vertical white little rectangular thing with the arrow to drag everything to the right and delete everything I don't want. So I obviously do not want to be in frame. This takes away from the whole stop motion technique thing that I'm doing. So what I do is I find that second action from the mannequin. Before he was by the computer and now he's moved forward a little bit. I'm going to drag a little to the right with the actual timeline, not the arrow, and I'm going to split. That will now split that clip into its own little clip. And when it's put next to the other clip, it looks like he just moved forward on his own because I deleted all the parts where I was in it. And then we repeat that process. So I'm going to grab that little arrow and I'm going to drag the timeline to the right until it gets to the point where I go in and move the mannequin. And then once the mannequin is moved and I'm out of the frame and my shadows are not showing in the frame, then I go and I take a 0.2 second long clip of that. So as you can see, he's moving forward. And then this long timeline, which is like several minutes, I wanted to split that so that one action from him is 0.2 seconds long and then I just repeat that process again drag and split off everything so of course the editing is important but also whenever you film the most important thing to remember is do one action move one object and then just step out of frame for a few seconds because you're not having to go back to the tripod and hitting like take a photo or start and stop the video like you literally just make the little action figure or whatever the heck you want to make move make it move and then step out of frame and then go back in and then repeat that and then once you have that editing and filming down you are golden you will be able to make videos like this make them with anything you want and as always if you have questions about filming or editing please let me know and i will show you how this video turned out once i edited it so you can see what the heck i was even making this for stay tuned